Welcome to the launch of the 2021 Artist Book Award exhibition at Manly Art Gallery and Museum. My name is Sarah Thompson. It's my great pleasure to be Masters of Ceremony for this event. To begin, I wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of these lands on which we gather and show my respect to the elders past and present and other Aboriginal people here today. Artist books reimagine how we view art and communicate the written word while challenging the way we experience both. Inspired by the form or function of a book, the artist's creative process transforms the work into an art object. The way artists express themselves is often influenced by current events and the world around. This is evidenced more than ever in this year's exhibition, with themes of lockdown, loneliness, and isolation, paired with works that explore the beauty of the natural world and the joy of family and friends. This exhibition captures a specific moment in our collective human history with works that transcend what divide us and unites us and captures global commonalities in extraordinary and unique ways. I would now like to welcome the Mayor of the Northern Beaches Council, Michael Regan, to launch the 2021 exhibition. Welcome everyone to Manly Art Gallery, both today and to those watching online. Can I start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of these lands on which we gather and pay my respects to the elders past and present. Can I take this opportunity to also acknowledge and welcome my fellow councillors and also local MPs present or who may be watching online also. Manly Library commenced the acquisition of an artist book collection back in 2011 with a grant from the Library Council of New South Wales. Northern Beaches Library Council continued the biennial event which captures the heart of art and libraries and the juxtaposition between them both. Celebrating 10 years, this exceptional award is recognised nationally and internationally. This year, entries have come from as far as China, Hungary, New Zealand, Canada and England, as well as most Australian states and their regional areas. There were 96 entries this year, with 53 entries chosen for the exhibition. The acquisition of books through the award allows the current collection to grow, and this year's judges have had a difficult task in making those choices. Thank you to our judges, Anthea and Ross, who we'll hear more about in the next few minutes. Northern Beaches Council is very proud to own such a beautiful, diverse and interesting collection. I commend the Northern Beaches Library Service for making this possible. I'm very happy to launch the 2021 Artist Book Award Exhibition. Thank you, Mayor Regan, for those words. I would now like to introduce the judges to announce the acquisitions for this year. Anthony Bosenberg has decades of experience as a printmaker. She was a foundation member and teacher at Warringa Printmaker Studio and instrumental in its establishment as a center for safer printmaking. Anthony has delivered international workshop tours and now practices as an artist from her studio in Greenwich, exhibiting regularly in group and solo shows both domestic and internationally. Ross Heathcote is a curator at Manly Art Gallery and Museum where he develops and produces a unique and diverse program of museum and visual art exhibitions, as well as engaging public programs. Ross has been a heritage site curator, museum manager, exhibition curator, and educator with the Historic Houses Trust of New South Wales, and a lecturer in museum studies at the University of Sydney. He also maintains a career-long involvement in the practices of photography and film. The year we've had strong themes emerged. One of those was of course COVID and the isolation it brought. Many of the artists worked at home in their studios during the, the last year in, in an isolated manner. Uh, the, another theme was that of destruction caused by bushfires and a, value, a re -valuing of our natural heritage, landscape, uh, plant life and bird life. We will now announce the artist books that have been selected to be acquired. You can see in the imagery, which is almost visceral at times, that her experiences of pain 
emotional pain are um, very moving. Apparently the book is about a metre and a half long. Not coming from your printmaking background, but to me this book of, of almost any in the, within the exhibition is a real printmaker's printmaking book. It's, um, it reflects on printmaking itself in subtle ways. It seems to be a little bit self-referential and the use of text is also brilliant, strong, eye-catching. Uh, you juxtapose with these subtle patterns in print, beautiful colours throughout. This artist book is really uh, all about the materials. It's monochrome throughout. Once again, like our last book, it's, it intrigues. It makes us want to turn these pages. It has a tactile quality to it. But each turning reveals something slightly different and even more intriguing. A page of text a kind of a, a, a subtle poem of a book itself. Yes, and I like the, the transparency of some of the pages contrasted with the opacity of others. It's beautiful. Yes. It's a beautiful book with a beautiful binding and a beautiful slip cover. Inside is a, quite a lot of text um, uh, and these very delicate uh, etchings. But within the etchings is a story about the, the subject matter, the theme of pain. And I think that we, once again, both felt that that was transmitted um, very strongly within the book itself. Yes. It, it it, it has a, a sort of ex exquisite sensibility, this book. It, it uh, makes you recall your own experiences of pain, I feel. And, which is another um, mark of a successful artwork, to be able to stick to its theme, uh, uh, transmit it strongly to the viewer um, through the materials and the form of it. But once again, it works well as a book also. Robust and very fine translucent papers. And it's almost like a secret that you hold in your hands. The text is scattered through, throughout and because of the translucency of the paper, you see both, both sides of each page. And there's another book altogether on the other side. A kind of a surprise second book. Yes. I, I love the covers at both ends too. That intrigues you, once again, makes you want to take a look inside. Yes, and it's, uh, the covers are very enigmatic. Peter's book was uh, a perfect inclusion in here. To me, it easily demonstrated and projected the commitment to this artwork. This is, a, this is more than a labour of love. The, the printmaking is, is technically brilliant. Uh, colour is dynamic. It's a beautiful piece of work. It's a simple, unassuming binding for this book, but it, it doesn't detract at all from uh, the relevance of it being a book. It, it works as a book, it has a purpose as a book. Yes, and a, and a narrative. But um, I agree with you, as um, th these prints, as you turn each page, and it is a page turner, um, every page is satisfying and engaging. You want to go further into it. So it's great art and it, it functions beautifully in, in book form. It's an exquisite book. The cover invites the reader in with its tactile leather cover and there are beautiful drawings and uh, watercolours inside. 
Yes, it, it, it's a, an art book that invites you to look inside it and, and no page disappoints in it. You know, it, it really does drive you through the book um, with an expectation that's, that's well satisfied. It's a beautiful piece of work. This is a, a series of photographs of relating to the coast, the two um, coastal pools and the beach, which is just a perfect uh, book to choose for this uh, area. Yeah, it does. It really does fit this situation of the northern beaches. I, I'm impressed by it because of the diversity of photographic imagery in there. And once again, the, the, the compact form of the book enhances the, the journey that Sally's trying to take us through here. I think it's a really worthy inclusion. Yes, and also the, uh, it covers the various times of day and uh, experiences you might have as you um, progressed up the northern beaches. We will also like to announce uh, some of the artworks that we felt deserved a highly commended mention. It's been an honour and a privilege for both of us to be judges for this year's award. Uh, all entries to the award were of a very high standard, so a particular congratulations to those artists whose works have been selected for the exhibition. Thank you, judges. That concludes the acquisition announcements. This exhibition represents a truly amazing and unique collection of artists' books. I would like to thank the following people who have made this event possible. Thank you to Mayor Michael Regan and Northern Beaches councillors for supporting this program. Thank you to our judges this year for your expertise and your time. Thank you to Northern Beaches council staff who have put so much work into making this program possible, especially Catherine Roberts, Trish Ryan, Ashley Adams, Megan Sadler, Bridget Ross, Annabelle Cotton and Gemma Skillen and Wendy Ford. I would also like to thank these artists whose inspiration and techniques have been brought to life in these extraordinary works of art. Thank you and enjoy the exhibition. <laughs>